Hi everybody! Sorry, it's been uh, a little while. I planned to do this update video a long time ago, <laughs> but first trimester pregnancy is not kind to me at all. With both boys, I was sick and exhausted for the first five months, both times. I think Zayden's lasted a few more weeks in Fenix's, but um, yeah, it was pretty lengthy and it is going so far no different with this pregnancy. So I just got back from dropping Zayden off at school and I thought I better do this now because by the time late afternoon comes in the evening, I am just gone. A few weeks ago, I went and had my ultrasound done and I will tell you something, I am never going to get it done in a different city ever, ever again. It was awful. I went, I went out of the, t the city that I live in because they could get me in one week earlier than the other place. Like the other place could get, could have gotten me in, um, it would have been last Friday. So they got me in a week earlier and I just really, really wanted to know. I just, that's why I decided to go to the other city, which I will never do again because right, they want you to drink four cups of water and not go to the bathroom within two hours of the appointment and be done your four cups of water an hour before your appointment, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is, I don't even think humanly possible. And the traffic just slowing down on the freeways, it was just like, oh my goodness, like my bladder is about to explode. And I think just the, the knowledge of being stuck and not being able to actually go to the bathroom if needed, just did a number on me. And I'm like, oh, please, please like get moving. Like my bladder just got more and more full. And, Finally, I was able to get off the freeway and pulled into a McDonald's really quickly, went and drained a bit, got back into the car, and then started driving back to the clinic. And by the time I got to the clinic, I begged the lady to let me go a bit because I couldn't even stand up straight. Like, and I was shaking and it was just, it's unhealthy. So she let me go another cup and I still had enough in me. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I bet you I could have drank like two cups of water before and then not fine. further along than what I thought I was. Um, I, at that time, was just six weeks. So now I am eight and a half weeks. According to like Baby Center, my due date is May 10th. So we'll see how accurate that is with um, the other doctor's findings. And so yeah, I'm just like about eight and a half weeks pregnant. So before my ultrasound, I was figuring that I wasn't probably further along because all of a sudden, it's like I hit like the six week mark and it's like hitting a brick wall for me. It's like all of a sudden the exhaustion and it's like debilitating exhaustion. It's almost at times I shouldn't even be driving and I don't because I know I'm not going to, you know, it's not safe. And the nausea. Oh, the nausea. I don't like complaining because I know that there are people out there who would die to be in my position and would give anything to have a baby. And so I keep reminding myself that when I start to be like, oh, poor me. But I tell you, it's, it's not the, it's not how severe it is. It's the duration of it for me. After, you know, feeling really sick and I'm day and night sick, 24 hours a day, you know, and, um, I'm on medication for it because otherwise I would be throwing up every night. That's what I did with my other two before I went on medication with Venix. Even the medication, it helps me not to throw up, but I'm still sick all day long. And I have like my ginger ale, and I got cranberry ginger ale this time, just for something different. <laughs> I eat potato chips and ginger ale all the time. That seems to settle my stomach. But anyways, the medication makes you drowsy, and I'm already tired, pregnant like most women are. And it takes you to a whole new level, and um, I fight to stay awake. There's probably about three pockets during the day when I'm sitting. I'm probably going to nod off and just like like that. And I'm not that kind of person normally. Normally I'm almost more of an insomniac than I am a sleeper. So um, I'm in bed about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, every night, <laughs> up at 6 with the kids. And that seems to help a lot. But I probably like I lay down around 4 o'clock every day because it's I almost have to. So that's where I'm at with my pregnancy Wait. symptoms. And this is perfectly normal for me. It's just how I am every pregnancy. Uh, I have the picture of the baby too here. Baby brain, oh my word. I don't know about any of you who've had more than one kid, but 
It's bad with your first, worse with your second, and worse with your third. <laughs> It seems to have hit me a lot sooner. I have no memory. I keep forgetting that I have birthday parties on the weekends and that's not me. I'm normally like a plan, organized person. I'm forgetting people's names. It's just awful. But okay, so here is the picture of the little peanut. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see, You can see the kidney bean shaped black thing. That's my uterus. And that little white thing in the middle or on the side of it is the little baby. So it was tiny, it has a heartbeat, and it just, oh, found love right there. And then my belly has pretty much stayed the same. I'll show it to you. So you can see there, it's not going down. It's not really getting any bigger. Um, I'm in, embarrassingly enough, maternity jeans because my other jeans are low and just so tight and it just pushes everything up and it looks really gross. <laughs> it looks bad. So I'm in maternity jeans now, embarrassingly enough at eight weeks. I never thought that would ever happen. Um, their maternity jeans are too big, but my current jeans are too small and just an in-between stage. Um, so I'm in those. Shirt's normal. This is like a normal shirt. And then weight gain, I have, I'm fluctuating up and down three pounds, so I know that it's water. I think that my breasts have gained like a pound each. <laughs> They're a lot bigger and very, very, very sore. Um, see, I'm okay out of breath already too. It's so weird. Everything's so early third time around. You start feeling really silly. Um, I googled like showing so quickly at, like I, I can't remember what I put in the search bar, but like showing quickly third pregnancy. And I found this whole site where people were like, shouldn't you be showing this quickly? And all the other women were like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I'm not the only one. I'm in maternity jeans at six weeks. I'm in maternity jeans at 10 weeks. And you know, like I thought, you know, am I just getting really fat? Like what's going on? So they actually um, have labeled it third pregnancy syndrome because you just bloop, right out. <laughs> I'm happy to know I'm not alone. It's um, it's just your body knows exactly what to do. It just relaxes really easily. And most of us don't have as great abdominal muscles as we did first time around anyways. So there's not a lot of good, strong muscle, core muscles to keep things in, but it's uh, it's perfectly normal. Yay. And um, I haven't grown a lot, but I'll show you a picture. I think I was 14. Here's the picture of me 16 weeks pregnant with Benick. So this is second baby where you show a little bit faster, but I think that I was pretty much the same as Dana, but this is what I look like at six weeks preg 16 weeks pregnant with the second baby. Now compared to what I look now, it's pretty much identical. <laughs> so, oh well, what can you do? It is what it is, right? And um, it's all worth it in the end anyway. So I will try to update you again next week. And I, you know, we'll try to pick another good morning that I can just quickly go and done and uh, keep you informed. Yeah.